Welcome back guys to another episode of Final Fantasy X-2. Last time we cleared the Via Infinito dungeon, defeated Paragon and Trema, and I can say with some confidence that we are done with the most difficult portion of the game. So um, let's just take a look at our equipments and such since we don't need like these Dark Knight setups anymore. Um. I think I'm gonna... Let's see. First of all, let's switch everyone back to some offensive garment grids. For pain, I'm gonna go with... Um, Psychic. So we can unequip these. Um, maybe equip some... Oh, let me go sort my accessories. <laughs> I do not like an unstored accessory list. Alright. I'm gonna go with hmm something magical. Magic defense by 60. How about this one? Regal crown. And for Riku, we can do. Let's see. What do we have? Thief, psychic, black mage, dark knight. That we got. Hmm. Maybe we can modify it a little bit. Uh, oh, <laughs> Berserker? Mm. I'm not a huge fan of Berserker, to be honest. It's it's a good dress sphere, but I don't know. <laughs> Something about it that just... Mm. Uh, I think for Riku, uh, she's just going to stay as Dark Knight for now. And... Oh, wow. That's some beastly stats I have on this Dark Knight right now. <laughs> um, yeah, instead of this, I'm going to equip this new accessory that we got. Uh, where is it? Iron Duke. And instead of Champion's Belt, let's give her some luck. So, she's like really beastly now and no one can stop her. <laughs> where is it? There it is. As you can see, like almost all her stats, like strength, defense, magic, everything's almost maxed out except for agility and evasion. Way too strong. But I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, um, so if you go back into Via Infinito right now and you go back to uh, floor 100, uh, all the way to the end of that room, you will find Paragon and you can just challenge him over and over again. Uh, I might do that a little bit later on, because if you bribe Paragon, he actually gives you a bunch of Dark Matters. And Dark Matters are pretty good items. And plus, he gives you a bunch of money, which is which is good too. I mean, <laughs> no harm in that. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll get back to that. But for now, let's go on with our last hotspot of this game. Here we go. Mushroom Rock Road. Oh yeah, I didn't take a look at Yuna's setup. Is she okay? Adamantite and Ribbon. <laughs> well, that is very defensive. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so as you uh, get into Mushroom Rock Road, just head for the red arrow. Um... <laughs> Lady Yuna! I went to your concert! It was spectacular! I was so moved! Thanks to you, we should be able to resolve our conflicts with New Yevon peacefully. The guys who went to the concert have been going around pushing for a truce. That's great! Sadly, there are a great many League members who don't know what to do with their energy. It may sound odd, but they're unhappy about losing the chance to fight. They are so ready to blow up! But Commander Lucille thought of this great idea! 
Like, what if everybody blew off some steam with a battle tournament? Oh yeah, great Sounds idea. Like Beat each other up. Beauty, maybe we should enter. That would be so cool! Yibel's handling registration, so if you're competing, talk to him. So we can beat up some Youth League members with our giant swords. Great. Hey, Yibel, sign me up. What is this woman? <laughs> you try to put a machine in the tournament. Why not? Will you be competing in the tournament? Yes. Understood. Allow me to lead the way. Okay, time to kick some Youth League butt. <laughs> the High Summoner Yuna has graciously agreed to help test our strength. Step forward if you are confident in your skill. Ooh, I wanna... <clears throat> I, too, accept the honor of entering the tournament. I will never forget the day I was allowed to challenge Lady Yuna. Very well. All units, take your positions. Um, yeah. Good luck with that. Let the first round commence. Huh? Well, I, I, uh, me? <laughs> May the best warrior win. All right, yeah, I will. Let's see how many seconds you'll last. These are the hands that defeated Tremor. <laughs> I'm on a roll. <laughs> do I even need to do anything? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna switch Riku out of Dark Knight. That that's too much. That's that's way too much. A flawless victory. The next challenger awaits. <laughs> oh damn, Yaibo's down for the count. Look at that. Alright. <laughs> um Let's see. If I switch her out of Dark Knight, what would she go into? Oh. Maybe we should test out some songstress. <laughs> or um Festivalist? I don't know. All I'm missing is one dress sphere. I think uh, Warrior is pretty good too. I mean, not a fan of Berserker. Not a big fan of Trainer either. I'm gonna go with Festivalist, just for the kicks. Let's put that over there. All right. Next up. Oh, generic warriors, huh? So generic. Alright. Oh, I haven't done anything with Festivalist since the very beginning of the game. I remember Yuna was just like so overpowered back then. <laughs> Riku's in the house and it's time to get down. Let's toss some firefish. <laughs> Whatever that does. No, don't die yet. No. Aww. Well done, Lady Yuna. Okay. Um. Let's see. Yuna as alchemist. Um. You know what? I'm gonna take her out of alchemist as well. How is she doing on that, by the way? Ah, yeah, we're learning elixir. It takes 999 AP, which is pretty intense. <laughs> um. Festivalist. Yeah, sure. And Psychic, what are we doing? Okay. I'm going to take Yuna out of... Um, 
out of Alchemist, I'm going to put on um, White Mage as a healer. Where's my White Mage? There it is. Sounds good. More generic guys. Leave it to me. I just want to use some Firefish. <laughs> Yay! Go Firefish! Wow, that did so much damage! <laughs> I'm just playing around now. Okay, so we got a White Mage up and... Nothing really. Prey works, but it gets half by show. Whoa. That was a bit creepy. <laughs> but I can't believe how much damage this does. 30k! <laughs> Hold it right there. Ha! <laughs> now I can do whatever I want with you, which is just like, you know. Shoot, shoot you with my laser beam. Yeah, this is a good setup, I guess. You make combat look effortless. <laughs> okay, who's next? Let's just finish this fast. Ha. Is she is she like whacking them with a with a big marshmallow? No, no not marshmallow. A big cotton candy? <laughs> that's, Let us continue. That's um both really cute and unusually cruel. I mean, if you can do ten thousand damage by whacking someone with cotton candy, then that must be some like intense cotton candy. Look at this. Oh, maybe it's with her bag of fish? That's even worse. <laughs> yeah, it's with the bag of fish. I, I don't understand it. <laughs> Next. All right, it's Elma time. Ooh. Lady Yuna, give me all you've got. No. All I got is way too much for you to handle. <laughs> What's she doing? Not so mighty guard? Alright. Alright, I'll take it. <laughs> ha! Magnificent, Lady Yuna. Elma, you too fought well. Learn from this defeat. Commander, who will be next? <laughs> what? Will no one step forward? Well, I guess we're done. You're forgetting someone. <laughs> Me? Lady Yuna, if I may? I'd be honored. The honor is mine. Please be gentle. Uh, this fight can kind of be challenging if you're doing the doing it before, like via Infinito. But since we've already done that, oh, it's it's a little more than a joke. <laughs> I wouldn't even call it a joke. Oh, you know, learn Vigor. Cool. All right, she's dead. <laughs> Too, Commander. Did she do anything? <laughs> okay, mission complete. Cool. 
lot of experience, a bunch of items. Now is the perfect time for me to tell you something that has been on my mind. It concerns the Youth League and Spira's future. Uh huh. When the calm arrived two years ago, it echoed deep in the hearts of Spira's youth. With Sin's defeat, we have lost not only our mortal enemy, but also our purpose in life. I too felt lost. I did not know what direction to take, where to channel my energy. It was Maven Nuge who guided our lost generation to a new purpose, to uncover Spira's true past. This is the same man who was once called Deathseeker, who made no attempt to hide his despair. What caused Maven Nuge to change? That is not for us to know. Nonetheless, under Nuge's leadership, we finally found a way to apply our strength. But look at us now. The power we hope to use for good has intoxicated us all, even Nuge. The Youth League is in danger of becoming a mindless band of thugs that know only violence. A power that destroys rather than creates, without meaning, no better than sin. So, does she have some kind of uh, microphone technology? Because otherwise no one would hear her. Spira's past is the foundation for its future. Our power exists so that we may cut a new road to a new age. An age where children will never have to lift a sword. Great speech. Alright. That's episode complete here in the Mushroom Rock Road. Great. Okay, so we're brought back to the airship from here, um, but of course, we are not done in the Mushroom Rock Road, so let's just hop back down there. Oh yeah, there's this scene first. <laughs> A special bonus for the Galway. Oh, they look great on you. I um, want one too. <laughs> Blended work. Gosh, thanks. What the hell is this? <laughs> hey, why not, right? That's a great. Okay, so um, if we're getting an episode complete in all the areas of chapter four, ch in chapter five. We are awarded with our mascot dress sphere, the final dress sphere in our list. So with that, we also get the sphere hunter trophy. Great. Okay, so um, I could mess around with the mascot dress sphere. Mascot is indeed the best dress sphere in the game, and uh, for for multiple reasons actually. And hmm. maybe I'll mess around with it later. I mean. <laughs> Let's just, let's just take a look from here. Uh, where's Dress Fears? Okay, mascot. Become a lethal stuffed animal. Annihilate the enemy before you die of sheer embarrassment. Oh god. Alright. Back to the Mushroom Rock Road. We're not done there yet. Okay, so from here on forth, I think I'm just gonna equip a charm bangle. Cause I don't really feel like uh, fighting any random encounters. Let's just get this done. I 
I have fought enough battles in Via Infinito. Um, we're making our way back to the Youth League headquarters. So, um, since there's really no need to for you guys to see any of that, I'm just gonna cut things out until I reach there. Okay, so as you get up here from the uh, through the elevator, you want to walk around and ignore, ignore that for now and come down here for an item. <laughs> there we go, Machina Booster. That's our last item needed to unlock all this, uh, all the special passives for our special dress spheres. Six of them in total. And if you're interested in what they are, um, might as well just tell you. It's just, uh, since there are three special dress spheres, and each of them come with break damage limit and break HP limit. So, that's six items. Okay, so now we're at the Youth League Headquarters. Let's head inside. through here. Oh my god, camera. Here we go. Where am I? Oh, there. <laughs> okay, so just walk your way across to the end. Unit will work with machine faction forces. Understood. Elma, you and your men will patrol the high road. Only be sure to avoid stirring up New Yevon. I'm on it. You seem pretty busy. Ooh, must be fun to fire off orders like that now that you're the maven and all. <laughs> well, I'm only the acting leader. Acting leader? That's right. There is only one man fit to be the maven. Oh, before I forget. This is for you, Lady Luna. I hope that it will help you understand Rouge a little better. Why, thank you. I will gladly accept the new sphere. <laughs> so we have new sphere and paralyzed sphere. Um, actually, Gippo sphere is insanely difficult to get, so I'm not even gonna bother. But if anyone's interested in how to get it, uh, remember in chapter four when we we're doing calm spheres, and in me and High Road we had to solve some kind of like mystery involving the Machina stuff. Um, you have to. You have to play that game in such a way that you peg uh, Rin as the um, as the mastermind behind the the, um, the whole Machina mayhem thing. It's really weird because he was the one doing the investigation to begin with, and you have to set it up in a way where he <laughs> was the one behind it all. That's it's weird. And if that happens, um, you won't get an episode complete here in Mihen High Road in Chapter Five, but you will get the Gippo Sphere. Which um, which con contributes to a little bit of percentage, but none that you need to for 100% though. Okay, so um, now we're going to head back uh, into the ravine of Mushroom Rock Road. We're not done here yet. Ah, crap. <laughs> okay, so into the ravine, and I am going to leave that for next episode. So, thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Final Fantasy X-2. Rejoin me next time 
for when we tackle the final thing before we head on, well, <laughs> before we're done with everything else here in Spira. Stay tuned for next time.